My dearest daughter, I trust my messages are reaching you. In these dark times, may they be a light to guide your path. Astria? Hey. Come on, still sleeping? Shift's almost over. Wake up. Huh? Oh, my head. Where? Crap. You fell asleep on the job. Good thing your best friend's got your back. I feel so out of it. I think I was having that dream again. Oh, you mean the one where you're a little girl? Hey, what happened to your arm? Nothing. Scraped it in practice the other day. Again? Lord Vale's been pushing us pretty hard, but nobody's been able to disarm you since, like, third grade. Huh, what time is it? I'm dying to get out of here. Yeah, me too. It's, uh, almost that time. Stupid Apple Watch. Should have gotten a Fitbit. Great. You getting wasted again tonight? Excuse me, I did not get wasted last night. In case you were too wasted to notice. <laughs> pretty sure I wasn't the one on top of the table belting out shape of you. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm not the one who slept through half their shift. <sighs> Come on, isn't there something else we could do tonight? I mean, I'm worried about you. Are you sure you're okay? Is Black Death okay? Is the Pit of Despair okay? See, like that. You really don't seem like yourself lately. Who am I supposed to seem like? The Crown Princess? You like me just fine after a couple drinks. I, I, I like you just fine anytime. I mean, not not like like you, but like, uh, like, <laughs> hey, would you look at that over there? Whoa, what is that? Wait, what? Did you see this here before? Mm, the glowy thingy? Uh, no. Holy grail, was somebody here? How should I know? You were the one watching me sleep. <clears throat> I was watching out for you. Professionally, to make sure nothing bad happens. You were snoring, by the way. Ah! They were, they were cute snores. Um, I did step into the bush for a minute to answer nature's call. Ugh. Which must have been when this glowy crystal thingy appeared. I've never seen anything like this. Hello! Look! <laughs> ah! How long have I been in slumber? Talking tree. Oh. It's you. I've long awaited this moment. Wait, which one of us are you talking to? Hmm? There's two of you? Oh, forgive me. My eyesight is not what it once was. Oh, man. The other guards are never going to believe this. Jeez, Feral. Rude. Wait, wait. Gotta find the perfect filter. Uh, sorry about this tray guy. Ooh, the ears are kind of cute. Look, face swap. Listen carefully, my children. Your time has come. You must embark on an epic quest where you may encounter dangerous creatures, fearsome challenges, internet memes, Life-size spiders! You know, that sort of thing. Are you for real? Are there like hidden cameras or something? Nothing epic ever happens around here. Uh, wait. Life-size spiders? Oh hey, would you look at that? Time to check in at the castle and call it a day. Are you coming, Astrid? I can't find the switch, or wires, or anything. Feral, what if this is real? 
Want to go on an epic quest? Uh, nope. I definitely think we have more important things to do tonight that do not involve life-sized spiders. Or any of those other... The path ahead will be dangerous. Finding the truth is never an easy task. What do you mean, tree guy? What truth? What's the quest? Find the lost princess and the key she may wield to open the door where the truth is revealed. Uh, this sounds kind of weird. Seek first the light that veils fate may be sealed. And definitely illegal. Uh, you should probably write that down. Feral, did you hear that? It's up to us to find the lost princess, and the key, and the door. I knew it. I knew there had to be truth to those stories. Feral, isn't this exciting? Haven't you always imagined there's more to life than this? I mean, not really. I imagine going home at the end of a really long shift and watching new episodes of Riverdale. Yes. Your strength will be tested as you ford the mighty river of Dale. Another option would be to just use the bridge. Okay, let's get going. No, stop. Astria, we can't just leave. We have jobs. We have a good life here. You call this good? I hate this place, Feral. I don't even know why. It feels like a bad dream. I've just been waiting to wake up. Like you said, ship's over. I'm punching out and going on an epic quest. You coming with me or not? I'm coming with you, question mark? Challenge accepted, tree guy. Which way to the princess? Find the lost princess and the key she may wield to open the door where the truth is revealed. Seek first the light that veils fate may be sealed. It's a riddle. Again, if you just write it down, it might be easier. Follow the light. I'll bet there's more of these. Like a trail or something. Which direction does the sun rise? East, right? We should just head east. Oh, brother. Astria, that's not even east. You know, I could write it down for you if it's just a matter that you just don't, like, want to do it. I mean, I can help out. Ladies and gentlemen, our first contestant, weighing in just shy of 100 pounds, the champion of courage, the hero of Hyrule, the boy with the fairy, it's Link! But wait, our final contestant, weighing in by at least twice as much, the undisputed champion of literally everything, our very own self-proclaimed Lord of the Land, Lord Vale! Prepare yourself to be woefully defeated, my young friend. Yeah. <laughs> you have experience, young one. Unfortunately for you, I've beat Cuphead on expert mode. A brawl is surely ruined. <laughs> Good sport, kid. Go on. Take your consolation prize. Earl, an update. This castle is in unacceptable condition! Oh, no. No! Get out! Adventure time's not even relevant anymore. <coughs> oh, come on now. <coughs> Don't cry. <sighs> Here. Hire some Skeksis. 
Get this castle spit spot clean. Clean this place up our dungeon! Three hours dungeon! <laughs> Lord Vale. What is it, Jared? A uh, very big problem, sir. Uh, two night shift guards have gone missing. Jared, I'm going to need you to be much more specific. Yes, of course. Uh, let's see. Uh, Astria and Farrell, generally loyal servants, uh, talking tree, lured by promise of adventure. Oh, they never reported in at the end of their shift, my lord. Hmm. A very frightful situation. Jared, ready my emergency rescue expedition. We'll bring these servants home safely. Uh, my lord, the report suggests that they left of their own free... Jared, shut up and file this with accounting. Let's not waste another moment. Uh, yes, uh, Kevin, I have some accounting for you. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> oh, DJ, play me out. They see me rolling, they hate it. Patrolling and trying to kiss me riding dirty. 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 My music's so loud. I'm swinging. They hoping that they don't kiss me riding Can we please stop here for a rest? We've been walking for hours. And some of us didn't stock up on sleep during their shift. Good idea, actually. I mean, can you imagine finding a mysterious castle in the woods and just, like, not checking it out? Obviously, this is an important part of the story. What story? Astria, I'm pretty sure this whole thing is still a weird accident. Skipping out of work to go run around in the woods doesn't automatically get us our own story. Why not? Because stories are epic. Tragic and romantic. Oh, please. You wouldn't know romantic if it smacked you on the nose. <laughs> right? You got me. I'm so romantic. I mean, not romantic. Look, there's something on the door. Only those who prove themselves to be romantic enough may be granted entry. What? Uh, come on, it doesn't say that. Yeah, you're right. It's just some kind of ancient language. I'm just gonna knock. Of course. Hello? Cogsworth, we have guests. Yes, well, that's just grand, but, but I'm afraid we must ask you to leave immediately. Mon dieu, they have only just arrived. Um, Astria, the clock wants us to leave. I think we should leave. Excuse me, we're on a very important quest, and we're Ugh, looking for- There's always a very important quest. Well, you'll find nothing here but misery. Ugh, what a pessimist. Ugh, don't mind him. What are you seeking, mon chéri, if I may ask? We're supposed to seek the light. And also a lost princess. And a door. And seal Lord Vale's fate. <gasps> Don't forget that part. Sacre bleu. Can it really be? What? What is it? Uh, it's nothing at all. Uh, please, Lumia, I beg you. We must keep our voices down. Who dares enter my castle? Astria? Head straight for the door and don't panic. I'll cover you. Wait, uh, the master is quite harmless. I have every mind to eat intruders for breakfast. <laughs> Good one. Astria, come on. You're stepping on my foot. Maybe a decadent snack. Quick, you have to tell us where to go next. Moi? But how should we know? You know something. Come on, we need our next clue. I'd say a hungry beast is a good clue that we should leave right the heck now. Uh, he's right, yes, quite right. He's very ill-tempered, mentally unstable even. Uh, goodbye, it was nice to meet you. What's that thing where you're both angry and hungry? Because I'm definitely that thing right now. Stupid cape. Ugh, seriously? Can you just give us our clue already? We need to find a key and a door. But we have many doors here. Uh, not sure about a key, though. Our master tends to keep those all to himself. And your master is? I think I'm bleeding! I require medical attention! Rachel! <laughs> Ugh. I was yelling for so long, and nobody listened to me. And I'm famished, and I'm introverted. Why can't anyone understand that 
I want to just be mysterious and reclusive sometimes. Whoa, what a twist. Master, we, we told them to leave. We, we warned them that you were ill-tempered. Wait, what are you doing here? Uh, me? No, not you. You! Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Ugh, we've talked about this 1960s Batman. No bombs in the castle. Don't blame me for this, chum. Blame Tim Burton, Batman. He brought them in. Are you kidding me? That's impossible. I have a severely limited range of motion. Whoever designed my bat suit was a sick lunatic. Oh, really? Tell that to nipple suit, Batman. That's George Clooney, 1997 Batman. Thank you very much. Give it up for the guy who almost single-handedly destroyed the entire franchise. And I helped. Don't forget about me. We, we know. know. Okay, okay, everyone, shut up. Jeez, how did it get so crowded in here? And smelly, ugh. You guys need to wash your suits, okay? The smell of leather, spandex, sweat, and sadness is overwhelming. It's like we're in the Cyclone's locker room or something. Ugh, why does it gotta be so hard, Clockface? Well, it's called to a sir, not that it matters, <laughs> but uh, I recall you insisting that not one of the awesome possums was as awesome as Batman, so you fired everyone and hired exclusively Batmans, uh, 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 Batmen. Gentlemen, I hate to interrupt, but this bomb is seriously about to blow up any minute. Ah, leave it to me. I'll fly it out over the bay and sacrifice myself. Yeah, like a hero. But not the one you deserve. But probably the one you need right now. But not the one I need right now. Because if I get blown up and stuff, uh, well, I'm Batman! Wrong-o, chum. I'm the Batman. No, I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. No! I'm Batman. Get out! out. Yellow, hey, watch me use my batarangs. Careful, sir. We've warned you about using the batarangs. What are you talking about? My batarangs are awesome. Watch this. Check this out. Ahem, <laughs> excuse me. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh my gosh, they're all looking at us now. Do any of you happen to know where we can find a mysterious door as part of a quest? And maybe also the key that goes with it? Who's she? What's she talking about? What's a key? This bomb is literally going to kill us all. Ah, oh, don't worry. I've been blown up before. It's survivable. These guys can't help us, Astria. Let's go. Ugh, fine. This is a bit of a madhouse. So it was good to meet most of you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Look what you made me do. Oh, whoops, pardon me. Whoa, you scared me. I'm sorry. Here I was trying not to startle you, but uh, I guess it never quite works like that, does it? Hey, who, who are you? You're not one of them, are you? What, a Batman? <laughs> no, I'm not a Batman. Although, it's probably a good thing I found you when I did. No kidding. Found us? What do you mean? You're seeking the light, are you not? We're seeking the... Yeah. Wait, how did you know? That's it. You're the next clue. Can you tell us about the door and stuff? Maybe you can help us? Well, I do know a thing or two about quests. I can help you find the door. Whether or not you open, it'll be up to you, though. Tell me, do you know anything about the Lost Princess? Not really. The story says she went missing when she was really young, right? Do you know what happened to her? Well, some say Vale got her. Deceived her. Just like he deceives all his slaves. <laughs> slaves? This life you're used to living? Serving under Vale's deceit? Chasing one pleasurable experience and false comfort after another? It's a distraction. Distraction? Lord Vale is not distracting anyone. This quest is the distraction. And we're not slaves. We get paid. Sometimes. Astria, how far down this trippy rabbit hole do you honestly want to go? <laughs> hey, could you maybe just give us a moment? Sorry. What are you doing? I don't like this guy, I don't like this quest, and I don't like how you're acting right now. Stop behaving like such a puppet and think for a second. 
Do we have any proof except Lord Vale's word that this life is all there is? What if this ranger knows something we don't? What if there's a reason I feel so angry all the time? What if my dreams keep coming back because they mean something? What if my father is trying to warn me of something? Something about darkness? Astria, stop. Can't you hear how crazy you sound right now? I'm sorry, but your father isn't sending you dream messages. He's dead. You know he's dead. Or he would have come back for you ages ago. Listen, you don't need some fairy tale quest. You just need to cheer up a little bit. Focus on what you have. Settle down. Get a boyfriend and just be happy. Excuse me? Are you even serious right now? I mean, everyone knows the truth is different for each person. I know my truth. It's staying home and watching episodes of Stranger Things. With you. What about your truth? I mean, what if your truth is just looking you in the face right now? Oh, Feral. Look, I don't like my job all the time, but it's a job. And I get to spend time with you, okay? I like spending time with you. I... I like that too, but... No, no buts. You're making things all complicated and it scares me. Don't you see how simple it is? So our life is kind of boring, but having friends, buying stuff, getting a little drunk at the end of the day, that's all we need, right? That's our truth. Look, let's just go home. With any luck, we'll only be a few hours late for our next shift and nobody will even notice. When we're off work, we can toast to this little adventure with a few goblets of wine if you'd like. Please, Astria, come with me. Let's go back to normal. What if normal isn't supposed to be normal? God, I wish it was simple for me like it is for you. Normal is killing me, Farrell. Haven't you noticed? You're like the only good thing in my life back there. And I'm sorry, but you're not enough. I feel like we're walking around in the dark. And everyone is smiling and telling me the sun is shining. And it's not. This is what it takes for me to feel normal. That's my truth. Until now. Until this quest came along. I can't go back. I won't. Finishing the quest. You should have said something. I thought we were friends. I guess if you don't need me, then you do you, Astria. I think this is a big mistake, and this guy isn't going to show you the light or whatever. When you figure that out, I'll be waiting for you. You showed incredible courage, speaking the truth to your friend. I know this isn't easy, Astria. Yeah. How do you know my name? Uh, must have overheard it. I'm Raz, by the way. Go away. Hey! Look! 
This is all your fault anyways. You and that stupid tree. I know she's been a little angry lately, but this whole quest thing just made it way worse. How was she supposed to go back to normal with talking trees and mysterious old dudes spouting off crap about truth and light? Excuse me, is this fairy bothering you? Yes. No, no, no. We can't have all that. Jared, why don't you invite this small nuisance to go haunt someone else? My lord, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just on my way back. I didn't mean for things to go that far, really. Didn't you? No, my lord. It, it was all a mistake. I made a mistake. Please. Farrell, look at me. You wandered off. You neglected your shift. But I won't hold any of that against you. After all, it wasn't your idea, was it? Well, it wasn't... I mean, no, my lord. Not really. Of course it wasn't. You are one of my best soldiers. Someone I know I can trust. Thank you, my lord. It was my mistake. I paired you with that rebellious young girl. Uh, Astria, wasn't it? Oh, but Astria isn't... She's a little angry sometimes, but... It was a misunderstanding, sir. There was this ranger lying to her... Shh! You see that? It's a good thing I found you when I did. I definitely peed my pants, like, a lot. Here. I want you to slay it. My lord? Your silly butter knife won't do the trick. This sword has power. Test it for yourself. Oh, for goodness. Look, the trick is to grip it like this. There you go. That blade pierced the outer shell. Uh, any reason you can't just do this? Now! Oh. Good. You're strong, my lad. Now, I need you to go back and get her. Astria? I already tried. She's all fixated on this quest and very stubborn. Harold. Tell me something. You care for her, don't you? I think so. I mean, yeah, obviously. Well then, you must persuade her. She might not like it at first, but if you really care about her, if you think you might even love her, then it doesn't matter how she feels about it. You know what's best for her, and you need to protect her from the dangerous people like this ranger. You're right. I gotta go get her. She might even be in trouble already. That old ranger was spouting all sorts of nonsense. Well, that's what the sword's for. And here, take this as well. My lord? If all else fails. Yeah, okay. Thank you, my lord. Think nothing of it. I care too much for my servants to let them be distracted by myths and fairy tales. Hey! Watch out! There. You see? I will always have your back. Now go. Jared, something tells me He's going to need some backup. You know what to do. Whoa, this is epic. <laughs> Wait till you see this fortress built entirely out of diamonds and redstone. I think it's up ahead somewhere. You've been here before? Not since beta. I hear there's llamas now. Whoa, Dumbledore? No, a thousand times no. It's Gandalf, and I don't have time for shallow conversation. I'm urgently looking for someone. Perhaps you've seen him wandering about. What does he look like? Green fellow, no arms. He's also been known to blow things up. Ah, you're looking for a creeper. 
Well, I suppose he's also been described as a bit of a- Wait! There he is! I'm Pickle Rick! You dare to pollute the peaceful plains of Middle-earth with your dreadful portals? Do you realize the trouble you've caused? I'm Pickle Rick! Go back to the shadows. Whoa. <sighs> A wizard's work is never done. That was so cool. Do you think you could help us with this quest? Let me guess. You're seeking the light. Yes, and a princess and a door. One thing at a time. By the looks of it, you won't get very far in that state. You haven't even crafted the proper weapons for this land. We were just getting to that. Here, Astria, I'll show you how to build a crafting table. I fear you may be too late. What is that? Orcs. I can smell that axe body spray a mile away. It's like Cornerstone on steroids. Ready yourself, child. <laughs> Listen, guys, we're merely passing through this land on personal business. We mean no harm. <laughs> cool story, bro. Your face means no harm. Um, thanks? Whatever. We're not interested in your face. Hurtful. We're here for the girl. Excuse me? Excuse your face! Shut up, Dave! Rats, we can beat these guys, right? Let me guess, guys. Vale sent you? That's Lord Vale to you. Nah. You'll pay for your impudence! Back off! You're pretty good, you know that? Then why are you smiling? <laughs> because I know something you don't know! Oh, really? I am not left-handed! Yes, you are, Dave. You totally are. All right, all right. I'm not right-handed either. Hey, Dave, you good, bro? Is your face good, bro? Now what's happening? They're coming. Usually works. Ooh, I know. Mannequin challenge. Good thinking, young one. Okay, now let's have some fun with this. What are you building? A music box. I think we can get them all dancing. Ready? And. Place. I'm out of here. And the news on Astria? Uh, well, Astria and her companion are unaccounted for, sir. I see. And young Pharaoh? Uh, no report, sir. Hmm. 
Things really aren't going our way at the moment, are they, Jared? Uh, no, no, my lord. I mean, look at you. Badly hurt, bleeding. Would you call those second or third degree burns? Uh, I'm not sure, sir. Of course you're not, Jared. Of course you're not. Jared, you've been a loyal and faithful servant, and I hate seeing you in pain like this. Uh, thank you, my lord. Oh, you're welcome, Jared. You're welcome. Let's put an end to it, shall we? Let's put an end to your confident failures, Jared! My lord! You dare disappoint me? You are no servant. You have always been a slave. I will do as I wish with you. My lord. Goodbye, Jared. Go find them. Well, my pet, it looks like we may have to take care of things ourselves. <laughs> Raz? Yeah? Thanks for coming with me. Even though this is supposed to be my quest and everything. I'm just... not sure if I would have been okay by myself. <laughs> Most of us aren't. That stuff about Vale. What's that all about? Is he really hiding something? Vale hides a lot of things. He's a master manipulator. He warps the truth. I want you to believe that everything under his rule is normal. That you should just be comfortable living from one quick pleasure to the next. As slaves. But there's more to life than that, isn't there? I've always felt it. Yeah, you bet there is. All you have to do is open the door. Find the lost princess and the keys she may wield. To open the door... Ugh, I can't even remember the rest of it. To open the door where truth is revealed. Seek first the light. The veil's fate may be sealed. Probably should have written it down. Right. That's the tree said. Thanks, Raz. Shh. Someone's coming. Hey. Feral, you're back. Hey, um, yeah. Astria? Look, I'm sorry I left you alone. That was pretty shady of me. I get it. And it turned out okay. <laughs> you should have seen it. Raz showed me how to use redstone. Pale never even told us this stuff existed. Trust me, you won't have much to worry about if you stick with us. We're getting pretty close. I can feel it. Close to what? The end of the quest. The princess and the door. I bet she's been hiding underground somewhere all this time. Building an army that will overthrow Vale. Just imagine. Yeah, Astria, none of that is true. You want to believe it, but I know it's not. I think you should come home now. What? I thought you came to help with the quest. The quest is fake. I came back because... Because I care about you, and I can't let you do this. Feral, we talked about this. I know you don't get it. But I'm doing the quest with or without you. You don't have to come. But please, don't try to stop me. You're being lied to. What makes you think you can just trust this guy over Lord Vale? Over me? It's... I like you, Astria. I've been waiting to say that for so long. Feral. And whether you like it or not, I'm here to do what's best for you. Here. A stuffed bear? Daddy? I remember this. This is mine. 
My father... Asked me, uh... Don't be afraid. Astria, you need to know something. Vale gave this to me? I thought... I thought my father... But it was Vale. Uh, no, Astria, remember what I told you. Vale is a master of manipulation. Uh, he brainwashes people. I remember now. God, I'm so stupid. I've been so stupid, thinking there was some special quest for me. That I was someone special. I should have listened to you. That's okay, Astria. I'm just glad I got to you in time. Let's go home. I've already talked to Vale. He understands. We both just want you back. Astria, wait. Feral, nothing good can come from wielding that sword. It'll protect us out there better than you can. Let's go. You're made for so much more. Both of you. Ugh. This marshland is putrid. Why couldn't we just have gone back the way we came? Google Maps said this was a shortcut. And this isn't so bad. Better that most things here are dead than alive and trying to kill us. Most things? Hey, come out and show yourself. If you make one wrong move, I'll kill you. Jeez, Farrell, when did you get so trigger happy? Don't hurt us, precious. Smiggle means no harm. Wait, aren't you the guy Vale banished for stealing things? <laughs> you totally are. Stealing? No, precious. Never. Smiggle only borrows things. You mean like when you borrowed that ring that was forged in the fire of Mount Doom and changed the course of all Middle Earth? Yes, precious. We can't help ourselves. Just smiggle likes pretty things. Cute. Have you been following us? Smiggle can't resist glowing ball for me. My precious. Recollect stars. You mean these things? Yes! Follow the light, precious! Seal Vale's fences. Alright, that's it. Scram! Wait, you know about the quest? Does Smeagol have more of these? Smeagol has several. Yes, my precious. Smeagol even knows the way to the door. What? Yes, precious door. Like from the riddle. Is it to find? Harder to get in. Well, so much for the great quest. The ancient riddle has already been solved by some naked old man with a bad comb over and a diaper. Not nice, precious. Get him. Get him. Will you take us to see the door? Astria? It wants to see the door, precious. Why so curious? Yeah, Astria. Why so curious about a fake door? Because... Uh, I just am, okay? What's it going to hurt if we take a little detour on the way home and check it out for ourselves. Prove it's fake. Plus, it's not like the door would be any good without the key anyway. Ah! Hide! Hide! What on earth was that? Terrible precious! Giant rock monsters lives here! Must let them see us! This way! Is it safe? Shh, Red Precious. Ugh, this is putrid. Don't tell me. Google Maps said this was a shortcut. Stop complaining. You're the reason we haven't captured the girl. Thanks to your blunder, she's probably discovered the truth by now. Yeah, 
Shut up, Dave. But I thought you said Lord Vale tricked that other slave into bringing her back. Please. You think Vale trusts his slaves to just blindly obey him all the time? The lure of the quest is too tempting. What if she finds the door? What if I shoot an arrow into your kneecap? Stop asking expository questions and keep looking. <laughs> arrow to the knee. Good one, Kevin. Vale sent you. You never told me that. What did those guards mean about discovering the truth? I thought you said the quest was all a fake. Vale said... he said... Why would his guards be worried about a door that isn't real? Vale is lying to you. This proves it. Don't you see? It's all coming together. If we find one, we find the other. Smeagol, you haven't also seen anyone that looks like a lost princess, have you? Smeagol hasn't seen any princesses. Mostly just nasty orcsies. Golem! At least show us where the door is, please? It can help get rid of all the nasty orcsies. If silly lost slaves can solve riddles, Smeagol will help. Follow us this way. Feral, let's go! Um, I don't think... Come on already! Didn't you hear those guards? You've been tricked! I need... I need to think. Feral... I have to do what I know is right. If Bale is a liar, then this all makes sense. I hope you'll see that and come with us. Soon. Astria... Don't be afraid. Come on, let's go home. No! Excuse me? I said let's go home. Why can't you ever listen to what you're told? Daddy! So... What did Smiggle say? Just like promised. That's the door? From the riddle? Yes, precious. Smiggle likes riddles. Smiggle likes looking at door. Has never been inside. Wait, do you actually live here? In these ruins? Smiggle's home, yes. Decent rent, but nasty roommates. We had some game. Who's your roommate? <laughs> <laughs> no, Smiggle did not take your precious algazes. We hate the green algazes. <laughs> hey, Gollum, you don't also have a key sitting around here, do you? Smiggle did the dishes twice this week, precious. Dinosaurs turned for nasty dishes. Hmm. Fine. Nasty dinosaurs don't bother Smeagol one bit. Be like that. Gross. Don't you guys ever clean up after yourselves? It's like Joe's place after the weekend up in here. No fair, precious. As to Sidora, not judge Smeagol's housekeeping abilities. Yahoo! Open the door. But how? This seems backwards. Where's the princess and the key? Don't ask us, precious. Pretty princesses don't come around here very often. Ugh, and I can't even remember the rest of the riddle. Why didn't I just write it down? I wish Roz was here, or Feral, or someone to tell me what to do next. Hold! How did it find us? Down, boy! Oh, 
Vale! You know, I've always preferred the term Lord Vale. It has a more appropriate ring to it. I know the truth about you. You lied to Farrell, and you're lying to everyone. If you weren't hiding something, you wouldn't care so much about keeping people from this quest. You don't control me anymore. Astria, haven't I always been good to you? Haven't I always kept you safe and happy? Tell me, has this little quest of yours made you feel safe and happy? So? Don't you think I already know where this quest leads? You're not special. Many of my servants have been distracted by fanciful talking trees or the ranger and his fairy stories. They start thinking there's a better life for them out there in the woods somewhere. But there isn't. I am the master of these woods. I know what's in them. And I want to protect you. Protect me from what? Monsters. Digging around in filthy scrap piles, trying to find a key. The lore of myths and fairy tales that require you to sacrifice your comfort and happiness. Ugh, you could never make me happy. Tell me what happened to the lost princess. Lost princess? Oh goodness, who have you been listening to? How can there be a lost princess? That would imply that there's a lost king? And I certainly haven't heard of any king. There's only me. Don't believe him, Astria. Ras? Oh, the mysterious ranger. Listen, all of you. That man you're looking at is a perfect example of the dangers I have been warning you of. He's so cunning, he actually makes you believe that he's here to protect you. This man was banished from my kingdom years ago. Yet he lurks, unwanted, waiting to tempt innocent servants like yourselves to forsake the comforts I have made for you. Astria, I need you to try and remember. There's a reason you feel like there's more than Vale's lies. There's a reason you've been having those dreams. What do you mean? What do my dreams have to do with any of this? Those aren't just dreams. Those are memories. They're real. What? There was a time before. Before you were lost in the woods. Before you lived as a slave of Vale. Oh, you have another home. I want that to be true. I can't remember. Because there is nothing. I think we've had enough of this sideshow. Slaves! No! Leave him alone! Dry your tears, child. His lies won't trouble you anymore. This is your real home. Wait! Ah, Farrell. Right on time. I have a particularly troublesome pest I would like you to dispose of for me. <laughs> if I dispose of him for you, will you let Astria go? Farrell, don't! Of course. After all this is taken care of, both of you can go back to the way things were. I promise. Let her go first. Of course. What are you doing, Farrell? Trying to clean up this mess you've made. But you know Vale is a liar now. Why would you listen to him? So what if Vale's a liar? This guy is just as much of a liar. This world is full of lies. All the more reason to just go home and focus on trying to be happy. Real happiness can only be found in truth, Farrell. There is no truth. Farrell, stop! Look! We found the door! You really think that some great quest is going to lead you to a simple wooden door in a pile of rubble? You actually think there's anything behind that door? Please, don't let yourself become distracted, boy. Farrell, this pain and frustration that's filling you, it doesn't have to last. If you choose to surrender that sword, 
you can free yourself from Vale's chains. Do it now, or I'll do it myself. Please! <laughs> Feral! You weakling! I gave you power! You're nothing but a disappointment. No! Stop it! This is your fault, Astria. You could never just listen to what you're told. Daddy? Astria, I need you to remember. There was a time before. Before you were lost in the woods. Before you lived as a slave of Vale. Why can't you ever listen to what you're told? You have another home. Daddy! My dearest daughter. Follow the light. I remember. The letters. That was you? Yeah. My dearest daughter. I wanted to tell you earlier, but you needed to remember for yourself. I'm so sorry. My daddy is real? You're real? Realer than anything. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, daddy, it was so dark there. And all I could do is just hold on to hope that there had to be light somewhere. I almost gave up. I know you did, sweetheart. I love you so much. And I'm so proud of you. <laughs> But, all that stuff in the riddle, all I've managed to do is find the door, and I don't even know how to open it. But you do want to open it, right? More than anything, but I don't even know how. I feel like, like I failed the quest. Oh, my little princess, you haven't failed. The quest is yet before you. Astria, don't listen to him. His kingdom is now my kingdom. You are under my authority, and I command you to hand that key over to me. Find the lost princess and the key she may wield to open the door where truth is revealed. Silence! Seek first the light, that Vale's fate may be sealed. You fool! You dare disobey my command? No slave defies me! I am no slave. I am the daughter of the king. After a season of night falls in pushbacks After the heartache of wrong turns and sidetracks Just when they think they got you game set match oh, 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 oh. Here comes a comeback Just cause you lay low, got up slow, unsteady Don't mean you blacked out or bought out your ass
Here comes a comeback. This 